Hi, in this short tutorial, we will show you how to do breakout rooms inside of Seesaw. The first thing you need to do is make sure you know how to set up a Google Meet video conference room. Here is the current guide to using Google Meet in DPS. I would bookmark the shortcut to this document. It is here at the bottom, this bit.ly address, because Google Meet is making changes to its platform for the new school year. This will show you how to set up a Google Meet and provide the shortcut link to your students. So once you know how to set up a breakout room or just a Google Meet video conference session, create a Google document and place your breakout groups into this document. You can see here, I've created three breakout groups for my students. I've listed their student names here. And then I've created three Google Meet breakout groups. I've named them pretty specifically here. So here is the first one. It is named uh, Mr. Dino DPS EL School-1. So watch when I click on that, I will test the breakout room. When I click on it, the breakout room is set up. So this breakout room is called Mr. Dino DPS EL School-1. Again, this is a meeting nickname and you can read more about it on the DPS guide to using Google Meet. So there's my first breakout room. I'm going to go ahead and close that. Now I come back to my breakout group document and I have created a, the second breakout room here. It's a similar name, except it's dash two. I'm going to open it just to test it. And that breakout room in Google Meet is now established. Mr. Dino DPS EL School dash two. I'm going to go ahead and close that live video room. Come back to my document and I've created the third breakout group with these students. And also here is the link for that. Uh, it is just the same naming convention dash three. In this example, I've also just gone to the extra step of assigning a Seesaw activity for each group. The name of the activity is over here. Uh, I cannot provide a link to it back to Seesaw, but I can list it here for the student to know. So now that I have this document set up, I want to make sure that I have shared it to anybody within DPS. So anybody within DPS can now view that. I'm going to copy that link and now I'm going to come back to my Seesaw class and I am going to create a new activity. Here's the activity. I'm going to go into my activity to edit it. You can see it's called Breakout Rooms. Um, I have put some student instructions in here. I want them to watch my morning message and then follow the instructions to find your breakout room. And I'm going to edit down here my example. So once they click on this, they will hear my morning video message. And then here are the instructions that I need to set up. So I want them to click here to open a new tab to find your breakout room and then find your Seesaw activity. So in this link, on this text box, I need to paste in the link to that breakout room document I just created. So there is my link, and when the student clicks here, they will link out to the breakout groups and see their name, and then be able to click on the Google Meet breakout room that they are assigned to. Okay, so that is set up here in this text box. And secondly, I just want to um, provide the second piece of instruction, and that is once they have their breakout room and their activity, they need to go back to the Seesaw activity page and complete your activity assigned with your breakout group. Uh, you don't need to do this second step um, if you just want to establish uh, the students going into a breakout room. I'm going to save that example and now save that activity and now it is there in the, in the student feed. Finally, the three activities that the students are supposed to do are all in the activity feed so they can find uh, and get into the activity they're supposed to do. 